Hope City. My name is Yi. The second week of Advent centers on receiving the peace that surpasses all understanding as we recognize God's presence among us. In this season of uncertainty and our chaotic world, it can be hard to hear the voice of God, but in this moment, we wait and we prepare the way for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We draw near to the presence of this God upon whom we wait. His presence brings us peace and his promises keep our faith strong. As we wait, we experience the presence of the one for whom we wait. We place ourselves in the posture of the Israelites, groaning for their Messiah. Jesus was to bring peace to the world, but he was born during a time of turmoil and unrest, where people did not want him to walk this earth. But God promises that the fighting will end one day when all nations will be at peace, when there will be no more tears or pain, no weapons or division, when the needy will be saved and oppressors will be crushed, a time when justice will prevail and the Lord of peace will rule his kingdom and will be as it was intended to be. We light this first candle again as the symbol of hope that God's light brings. It shines brightly and it never allows darkness to overcome it. We light the second candle as people who long for Jesus and the peace of God. As followers of Christ, we proclaim peace in his name and rely on his mighty power to bring peace to this world. Let us pray. God of peace, in these days of Advent, we wait for the birth of Christ, the Prince of Peace. We pray for those who live in conflict and are hurt and affected by it that we will be protected and situations can be resolved peacefully. Show us how we can be peacemakers in our relationships, families, workplaces, schools, and in the world. Let your peace, the all-encompassing shalom that brings safety, health, and fullness of life reign in every corner of our lives. Amen.